Greta Guidoboni, Özgür Şahin, Ian Wisher, Lefteris Fisikopoulos. India, Poland, Japan, Brazil, Czech, Sri Lanka, Physicist, Engineer, Physicist, Engineer, Physicist, Engineer, Physicist, Engineer, Physicist, Engineer, Physicist, Physicist and Engineer. Trigger and data acquisition are well, two concepts which you find in any experiment, from the very smallest to the very biggest. A trigger is well, the ability to tell when there is something interesting happening in your detector, to make uh, selections of uh, event data. And data acquisition is um, well, the process of moving the data from the place where it's created inside of the detector to permanent storage from where it uh, then can be read for data analysis. The, the main idea of having the school in Rome is that uh, we have uh, a lot of expertise in this field and uh, this expertise is widely used uh, in the international collaborations where we are working in. It's particularly nice uh, to have this community and see also young students uh, um, uh, come close uh, to this topic uh, which is not uh, simple to find on books. We have uh, half of the time that is dedicated to lectures and the other half is dedicated to practical uh, lab experiences. We are offering exercises which go from the very well, front end uh, of data acquisition, uh, programming, bus systems uh, to the very end, uh, which is represented by control systems, by storage technologies. Uh, here at the school, I'm involved on one hand of having a lecture about networking, because at CERN I'm a networking expert. So I'm also a tutor and instructor for a data acquisition lab based on microcontrollers. I'm working for a, um, a precision standard model precision experiment um, called the QWIC experiment at the Jefferson Lab in the United States. When I joined the group, I didn't have much knowledge about any knowledge about data acquisition. I needed to get a proper knowledge about data acquisition. And I was really thrilled to hear about this school. I think because I'm already in a group that has a specific uh, purpose for me in mind, um, I've already acquired those necessary skills. But as soon as the project changes or even shifts focus a little bit, I think uh, I'm much more confident that I'll have the skills to address that. One of the best things I find about this school is that the students are from everywhere in the world. So we have, we were counting the other day, they are from all continents except for Antarctica. I find it very interesting because you can really see the diversity between the students, their attitude and how they ask questions, they are, the way they think. Well, we are certainly um, well, very keen on doing more of the schools. We are as lecturers and tutors, um, well, uh, very happy about the response that we get from the students. Uh, we see how much they uh, benefit from the school, how much they like it, and that also motivates us to continue putting effort uh, into the ISOT Duck School. This school is very great. I can't wait to get back and try to implement in our experiment if I can. <laughs>